Hey guys, it's Kylie and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to package pin mail So when it comes to packaging pin mail, there's kind of a way you should do it. Um, I have my own little twist on that um, but there is certain rules when packaging pin mail that you kind of need to follow so I'm gonna go through that um, so how to make sure that the pin gets there safely in the right way to ship pins um, the first thing I'm going to say is that you always want to have some sort of bubble mailer. Um, I bought these cheap off of Amazon, these little pink ones. They have all different size bubble mailers, so if I'm shipping more pins, I'll use a bigger one. For this pin mail, I'm just going to be showing you what I do with one pin, and I'll explain what I would do with multiple pins. Um, I, you're also going to need some bubble wrap, some tape. I use just like this packing tape, but that's what I have. Um, I like to write little notes in mine, so I always have this notepad, and I like to put in little goodies of different things, and then you're also going to need a scale to weigh the package. So to start off, I'm going to show you how I um, bubble wrap my pins. So you always want to bubble wrap your pins. Um, it helps get them safe, get, get them there safely, and you want to protect the back too when doing it. Um, some people put them on a card before that. If they do have a pin card on them, you kind of want to keep it on there and be careful with that. I just take the pin, stick it through the bubble wrap so that it's protecting the pin post and then put the pin back on through there. Um, that's how I found the best. And then I, this pin, this piece of bubble wrap is already cut. If I was doing multiple pins, I'd probably go next to each other, a couple of them, and then roll them this way. It's with a bigger piece of pin wrap, pin, a bubble wrap. Um, but if they, I wouldn't go more than like three pins in a row. Um, I would do separate bubble wraps for all of them if I had more pins. Um, so then I just roll it up nice and carefully. You want to make sure that you cover the whole pin, that the whole pin is nice and protected. Um, you are trading and you're entrusting with the person that you're going to protect your pin while they protect theirs. I then rip off a piece of tape. Sorry, it's kind of loud. Um, and take a piece of tape on each side. So this one kind of goes right here. I just put a piece of tape over this edge. And if it's a larger um, piece of thing, I'll also put a piece of tape down the middle so that it protects that. I ripped off a little bit too much tape right there, but I'll use that later. So, piece of tape on each side. Um, and then this all goes in my pink envelope, so I just have my pin, and I stick it in my envelope. I also like to throw in a couple little extra goodies. Um, some people throw in notes, I do that too. Um, stickers, um, I've gotten a bunch of different little cards or things. So I like to throw in a few confettis because um, I just found a bag of confetti recently. So I throw in a few confettis and some Mickey stickers that I got on my last trip. So I get those in. And then I write the person a little note. Um, for my notes, all I pretty much say in them is thank you for the trade. Um, hope you enjoy your pin. And then I also shout out my YouTube channel to share that I'm going to be sharing the trade on there if they want to check it out. Um, so I write their name here, I'm going to wait and not show their name, but I put the person's name here, and then here I write, thank you for the trade. So once I'm done with the whole note, um, I rip it off this little pad. I, always, I just got this pad cheap at Walmart or any, like the dollar store, something simple like that. Um, I rip it off, and then I fold it up into thir thirds or fourths. Um, so I'm just gonna kinda fold it up, and then I stick it right in the envelope. So then it goes right in here. So once I get it all the way in there, um, this is pretty much done. I have sometimes put maps in it. Like I got a bunch of maps at the beginning of Food and Wine, so I, for during that season I put some maps in it. Um, it all depends on what goodies I'm feeling like putting it in and what I have available. So right now this is what I'm putting in. I then close it up and this has like a little sticky on it. You close up the sticky and then I take a piece of tape um, and I like for the smaller packages I put a small piece of tape right here covering this corner just to kind of tape down this flap and then I put a piece of tape also on the other side to tape down the flap. I just feel like it gets it keeps the pin more secure in there and you don't worry about this ripping open so you kind of tape down the flap um, the next thing I do is wear my pins so I have this scale right here I got this I think on Amazon um, if it loads and all I do is take this I make sure it's zeroed out um, and it's in pounds and ounces and I just put that on there 
and it's, see, one pin isn't even an ounce, it says 0.7 of an ounce. Um, as long as I think it's below four ounces, um, it's the same price. I print all my labels through PayPal. Um, I'm not going to show you a label, but on PayPal, if you have a PayPal account, you can just go to like shipping labels. If you search shipping labels, it, there will be a link. Uh, I think you have to might have to search it through Google to easily get to the link. Um, but there's shipping labels. It's the cheapest way to ship your pins. It's two dollars dollars and 66 cents for um just to ship a couple pins and that's all i'm really ever trading i think i've shipped like eight pins at that price um as long as i think it's below four ounces i would do it at that price um so that's what i would recommend you can also go to the postal service when you're shipping the pins you want to make sure that you sh include tracking so um i always emphasize like uh, use paypal because it comes with tracking too so that's how everybody has used tracking and also with the bubble mailer always need like a packing slip for it um so that you can track your pins i also because my shipping labels are still in, are under my dad's name because that's what our paypal account under it i like to write on the back that it's just from me so i write from kylie just so that they know because my paypal the paypal um return address doesn't match that and then i also highly recommend investing in sticky paper um, I got this on Amazon cheap um, It literally is just there's a little it's label maker paper So there's literally like a line down the middle of this and it's two you can make two shipping labels on it um, Highly recommend it. It makes it so that you don't have to tape down the um, Labels onto the things and for especially for these small packages the labels fit on perfectly they fit right over this area um, So highly recommend that that's what I use um, if you have any questions about shipping pins, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to um, help you and give you some advice. Besides that, if you enjoyed Disney content, definitely hit the subscribe button. And if you like this video, hit the like button. And I will see you guys later. Bye!